It's Bryce Davis on the check-in. And we got a new statement from Styles P after going viral for confronting a police officer for mishandling a woman during an arrest in Yonkers, New York. And as you know, there's a lot of conflict between police and the black community. That's where Styles P came in and tried to get the police to ease up. But recently, P admits that he was wrong and he took it to Instagram to make the following statement. I'm man enough to admit the youth shouldn't follow my anger path. It may lead to them getting clapped. Also, man enough to admit that Jake got to delegate better in our communities. A lot of frustrated people out and about that's tired of seeing the women and kids mistreated. Pretty sure it's a way to start making shit better. He also released a video response. Here it is. Make sure you like and subscribe. Check it out. What up, y'all? Chilling. I'm gonna try to make this as short and sweet and to the point as I possibly can. Um, check it. Now, look. On behalf of all young black people who've seen the video, I was wrong because you gotta be careful of what you do and how you speak out here because we're all at danger but we also gotta kind of step up when we see shit being done wrong I definitely should have delegated it better and usually I actually do delegate it better to be honest with you I go through that a lot but most of the time it turns out in a positive manner so there's never gonna be footage of it so that it is what it is that's how it goes. And most of the time I'm calm because most of the time when it happens, it's usually males, all males involved. This one caught me off guard from seeing a female being slammed. Now, I understand, you know, you, there's certain ways you got to delegate yourself and there's certain ways you got to carry it. So for all the young black people, all the healthy people, all the white people, I, I don't hate cops, you know, I... I hate the mistreatment of poor people. I hate the mistreatment of poor black people. I hate the mistreatment of poor Spanish people, even poor white people in the hood. I hate the fact that it's easy to throw cops in a neighborhood that get a benefit, a salary with a bunch of people that they have no idea how it works and they're putting scared people in our thing. On top of that, I don't wanna see the cops fired. I don't wanna see the cops lose their job, lose their lifeline. I want to see them be able to be able to delegate where they're at. I don't actually even blame them so much. I, I blame the system. I can't even, I got to blame the whole system at a fucking hole. Now, I was so mad, I wanted to kind of fight the cop, which is one of the dumbest things you could ever do. But when you see a lady get slammed on the floor and you see, you watch the news every day, you know what it's like to be black. It's PTSD. It's trauma. It's all kind of shit. So, you know, sometimes you just get fucking tired. Now, if you're going to be in our community, this is what I say. They got to make sure the cops ain't scared or racist when they put them in certain zones. I don't think you should fire the cops. I think they need to go through certain courses, speak with certain people, delegate a certain way. But you got to make sure racist people ain't in race. I'm not saying those two cops was racist. It feels racist because white, I live in a white neighborhood. I've lived in a white neighborhood for a lot of years now, to be honest with you. You understand what I'm saying? And when something happens, never get slammed to the floor. And that just says something in general, like you, in general about fucking society. Now, I don't know what the fuck to say about that, but we got to all stand up and say something about it at some given point in time. You can't just expect to come in people's neighborhoods, slam their women and their children around, especially with all the fucking death that's happening all the time and expect everybody to be mentally healthy and stable and accept the shit. You, you understand what I'm saying? But also, don't do what I did because 
that's not the smartest way to go about it. Now, the smartest way to go about it, and I'm going to tell you exactly why I say this. The reason why I eat fruits and vegetables because I have anger issues. You know what I mean? I do have anger issues. I do have communicate, communication issues. When some shit happens, though, it just pisses you off and you got to be on point enough to keep yourself alive. You understand what I'm saying? You got to be on point enough to keep yourself alive and delicate because it could happen in a split fucking second, which it does to us all the time, which is the part that makes you fucking mad because you understand this. Like, you know what I mean? But here's what we have to do. Don't do what I just did because it was kind of, it was dumb, but I was kind of in a mood that was in a different mood that I shouldn't even have been in, but I was in that mood and that shit happens. Just being real with you, that kind of shit happens. But as an elder, as a 47-year-old man, if you round me off, I'm 50. I look this good, but I am going to be 50 in a few years. You have to be able to teach the youth how to delegate. Now, what we have to do, and I say this as a gangster and a gentleman, we have to start encouraging the youth, whether they're black, Spanish, or white, from the inner city to the start. If you're going to be, you want to, don't be scared to be a cop if you're not built for outside that's okay you need help with money for the cop test we got to start helping that out but we got to start having people from the community police the community or it's gonna go all the way fucked up i don't even know how to put that in a different way that's not even white or black it's not i don't i don't even know how to put it but that's just how it goes if you don't come from somewhere if you don't come from a rough community and you ain't see people like, when I talk to my friends, my brothers, my homies about basketball, you would think something violent is about to happen. We're yelling, we're screaming, we're doing this. Nobody's about to fight. That's just how we talk. That's just how it goes. If you come from the suburbs, never seen that. Don't understand what's going on with certain people's attitudes, what they've been through as a child, what's going on. You have no fucking idea what's going on. I'm going to give you another instance. This is how rough it is. And I got to say this as we're on here, right? I'm sitting in front of the juice bar, but my hood's down the block. My hood's everywhere, actually, here, right here. But, right, in most of the local communities and the parking lots, I get it's a parking lot, right? But in our hood, we throw cookouts for everybody all the time. We don't charge anybody. They just throw the cookout whole town comes, bloods, crips, old people, young people, every part of the town, nobody got to pay for a meal, you know, the kids ride their bikes, they skate, the cookouts is going, yeah, we blast the music, we turn it down late night, we, you know, they put the, 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 the fucking, the projector on the wall for the films, but now that's illegal in the parking lot, but the city ain't doing it for the people. Now, we as people from the city got to get with the other people from the city and we got to all do it together because that's what the fuck communication is about. Now, I'm going to say that to say this. Look, I'm not against the cops. I'm not against white people. I'm just want the right people policing the community at the right time, whether they white, black, Spanish. If you're white, you grew up in Mount Vernon, New Rochelle, White Plains local area, you know about this, then you, you got the right to police over here, but also hire some black police. You got to start looking at the numbers of the amount of black police that kind of lives where you live, who's been hired. We don't even look at that it is what it is, but say that to say this, be careful, delegate yourself right. Don't do what I did. I'm just kind of passionate, you know, um, I got issues. Sometimes I do stupid shit. That's why I try to eat the fruits and veggies, stay calm. And a lot of shit goes on sometimes where it's frustrating. So you know how that goes. But to all y'all out there who's working hard in the streets, on the force, find a way to delegate. You know, keep it calm. Keep it simple. You know what I mean? For all the white people that hate black people and the cops, I'm not saying it was those cops in particular again. Just think about all the mixed babies in the world. You can't hate all of them. It's a lot of mixed people. Stay cool. Stay positive. Love is love. I'm out.